Hello and welcome to Splotch Code. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the music extension in Scratch to make and play a set of drums. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to move our, delete our cat sprite. And we're going to look at a backdrop we're going to use for this task. So we're going to go to choose a backdrop. And from our backdrops, I know I've got one called concert, which we'll use. So we'll select concert. And we can see that's our new backdrop over here. So we're happy with concert. Now we're going to look at some of the sprites we'll need to use as well. So if we're making a set of drums, we can go to choose a sprite and there's some really great musical instruments, including some drums that are already here for us. So we could go under music, but I'm just going to search drum and you can see some of the ranges we've got here for drums. So I'm going to choose the symbol We're going to go back in, I'll get all our drums for our drum set straight away. Okay. Go back to drums, we've got symbol, we'll get a drum kit. We're going to have four drums in total, four drum parts, I guess. We've got our symbols, we've got our drum kit. We're going to choose a snare drum. And finally, we're going to get a hi-hat as well. So we have four drums here on our stage. I'm just going to move it in place so they look a bit more drum kit like. There we go. Okay, and there's our drum set. The next thing we need to do is we need to come over here and look at our add extensions. So just down the bottom left, you'll see the add extensions tab. You click on there and it brings up some of our options. So for this task, we're going to look at music that brings our instruments, which includes our drums. And you can see here, which include play drum, play or rest, play note, set instrument, set tempo, change tempo by, and the actual tempo controller there as well. So for this task, now we've got these, we're actually going to start off with our event. And our event we're going to use is when sprite clicked. So I'm going to start off on my symbols. So our symbol sprite is selected when sprite clicked. And then I'm going to go to our music tab and you can see here play drum four and it's got the amount of beats we want it to play for. Okay, so because it's our symbol I'm going to click on the little down arrow and you can see here we've got snare drum, bass drum, side stick, crash cymbal, all sorts of different drum options. Mostly percussion, some of them are not technically drums, but percussion options. I'm going to choose the cymbal and there is crash cymbal and we can test the sound. There's our fantastic cymbal sound. So we can change how many beats that goes for. For now, I'm just gonna change it to one beat. When you start composing or putting together some sounds and music instruments together, you might start playing around with the beats. For now, it's easy for me to keep it for one beat per sound. As I introduce the other drum parts, it'll make more sense. So when the sprite is clicked, play drum, crash cymbal for one beat. Done. We're going to move over to drum kit. What we can do, we could build it the same way again, which was sprite clicked, play drum. And this time it's a drum kit. which is the bass drum. Sorry, I forgot what that one was called. And we can test this one. 
that's our bass drum sound, which is from the big drum from the drum kit. We'll change our beat for this. Also, the one beat just makes it easier. And there we've got our two different types of drums. Instead of building this one, we're going to remember how we can do our drag and drop. So now the snare drum's got our same script. And we can select snare drum. And then over here we've got our drum hi-hat. So we can take it, drag and drop onto the hi-hat sprite. And we can switch this one to open. Or closed hi-hat. Into your music you'll know there's different sounds. We'll keep it open. I think that's a nice sound for now. Now what we've got, if we have a look, and I'll just expand, we can make by clicking on each instrument. Sounds of a drum set. So I'm controlling this just by clicking around on the page. Okay, so that's the basics of trying to make a drum kit without using a click when the sprite clicked to make the sound. The next thing I will just add to this is it looks a bit boring because we're clicking on them, nothing's moving, nothing's happening there. So I think we can make that a bit more interesting. So to make it more interesting, we're going to look at the appearance of our drums. So let's go back to our symbol. I'm going to go into our looks selection here. I'm going to use change size by, which is down here. What change size by is it's going to increase the sprite size each time the sprite is clicked. So I'm going to change, we can leave it at change size by 10, that's all right. Press symbol, when I click it, if we watch what happens, and currently the site down, the size, sorry, is 100. It's increased by 10 to 110. I click it again, increased again by 10 to 110. Okay, I'll take it back to 100, because what we want to do is that looks great, but if it keeps on increasing every time we hit it, it's going to end up being way too big for our stage. So what we'll also have is change size by, and we'll do a minus 10 as well. And that'll basically make it go smaller again at a different part of the command. So we can have change size by to go up, and then to go down again. So what I might do is put my change size by first, it plays, and then it goes down. Shall we try it? Now our symbol is going up and then down in size. And we will look at one last thing to make it look really cool, is also looking at the layers. So if we scroll down, we're going to look at go to front layer and go layers. So go to front layer means if this symbol is behind the drum set and we click it, it'll automatically make it appear in front. Okay, so we can sprite click, we want to go to the front layer straight away, get bigger, play the noise, get smaller, and then go back again. I'm just going to make it go back two layers and that should take it to the behind the drum set. So click, gets bigger, smaller, and stays behind. And we'll move it in front so you can see. Now we can do the same thing to drum kit, but we're not going to copy all the script. We've already got our symbol playing well. So I'm just going to drag these apart. Now I'm going to copy this little block of script to drum kit, into the snare, and to the hi-hat, and then I'm going to separate it again and put it all back together. So what you'll see is over here, let me zoom out, where are we? And just with a few clicks, we'll get front layer first. 
Let me play. Let me change size. Play the bass drum. Snare. Same again. We always want to go to the front first. Change size, play, and then change size down. And our fourth piece. See, we can shuffle it all together in lots of ways, but in the end, it all works the same. And if we test those, we test the snare. And what we can do is we can make some of them stay further out than others to just looking quickly at layers again. Our highest number, so our first layer. Going to be what we see first. So if we want our symbol to be pretty bigger, it's probably going to be in front of the drum set. We might make it go backwards one layer. We might make our drum set go backwards two layers. Our snare might go backwards that one, two layers. And our hi hat backwards one layer. So our hi-hat and our symbol will appear slightly in front of the other two. We'll go back to full screen just to test this one more time. And we go bass drum, came forward and went back. Symbol, snare and hi-hat. Now we've got a nice little animated drum set full of really authentic drum noises, I think. And some nice movements happening on the page. So now that you've learned how to play the drums on Scratch, you might like to play around with some of the other instruments. So don't forget to have a look back in our music tab once you've got that installed. And you can see the set instrument too. And we've got a whole range of musical instruments. Obviously with some of these, you're gonna be changing the note, you might be changing the tempo and the rest between beats. But you can play around, explore as much as you like and try and make some music using Scratch. Thanks for watching this video on Spotch Code.